I'm going to show you something that you guys probably never seen because I never seen it. It's a regular Windows 10 install. That's my messy me uh, desk. 10 Pro. Well, it's not a regular one, it's a volume license one. But here you go, next. Accept. Next. Custom. Now, it's on a, on a, on a allocated space, so. All right, I'm gonna show you guys something. Here's the drive. This is the drive that connects to, to this motherboard. I'm gonna unplug it here. Let's take the SATA off first. And let's take the power off next. Okay, it's unplugged. Nothing happened. Same cable. It's going right here underneath there. No tricks. I'm going to do this one handed. All right, same cable. Still same cable, no tricks. There's only one SATA connected to this motherboard. And then I'm gonna put the power. Oh, the light blinked. All right, it's connected. Now, the reason I'm showing you is this because I plugged this drive in and when I got to this point, there was two partitions on there and I'm like, are these empty? So to save time, you guys can do this. You could unplug the drive, take it to a different computer, see what's on there, come back to this. But the, what you gotta do when you get to this is refresh. And then it comes back and then you could click new and continue actually now yeah apply okay so next there it is it says it's copying files And there it is, it's going. So this video is just, so if you guys wanna, if you guys are installing Windows and you have the computer open and you're not sure if that drive is empty, you could unplug it, test it on the computer, come back, just refresh that sp in that spot there and you're good to go. Um, this is uh, Asus P5Q, EM motherboard is an old one but I it's a very reliable one so I use it for testing all kinds of things so it may not work on your motherboard but you could try it it doesn't damage the drive so that's it take talk to you guys later